When Jesus lived and walked on earth with people, he told them stories that would help them learn how to be good and please God. One of these stories was about two men who went to church to pray. One of these men was a publican, and the other man was a Pharisee. We don't really use those words in our country, but that's not what was important to this story. Jesus told this story to show how bad people can look good and good people can look bad. The publican was an example of a person who appeared bad. He was a tax collector for the Roman government, and their Jewish friends and neighbors looked down on them because they helped the enemy take money and because they would cheat the people. The Pharisee was an example of a person who looked good. They went to church all the time, dressed in nice clothes, followed the rules, and prayed all the time too. But Jesus showed us what they were really like behind the surface. And as it turned out, looks could be deceiving. Jesus called these people whitewashed tombs, outwardly clean, but inwardly decayed, like the walls of the cemetery in Jesus' day, which were filled with the bodies that were in various stages of rot, but which had been painted to look cheery. When we look at people, we have a tendency to forget what the Bible tells us in Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Today, we see religious people like the Pharisee and think that they are right with God. But this story shows us that our attitude is what makes us right with God. When the publican went to church, he talked with God the way that we are supposed to talk with God. He expressed sorrow for his sins and asked for forgiveness. That made him right with God. On the other hand, when the Pharisee went to church, he was looking around at others, criticizing them and praising himself. I'm doing it right, he was thinking. God considered the bad guy good because he convinced God that he was sorry. And how do we convince God that we are sorry? Go to church, talk with God, do things for God. You remember the story of Zacchaeus, the wee little man? Well, he was a publican too. He gave money to others to show that he was sorry that he had stolen money. And God will show us ways that we can make it up if we will just ask him. When the publican went home from church that morning, he went with God's blessing. God forgave him of his sins, and we are told that God will praise him. But the Pharisee, he will receive dishonor for his efforts.